Here's a quick update for those of you who have seen my previous video about how much I was loving my brand new truck. Uh, spoiler alert, I don't love my brand new truck anymore. Since I made that video, we've had four things break straight from the factory without any other rhyme or reason for why they're happening, up to the point where the tech that ended up fixing them said this was borked from the factory. Number one was actually found on the first day. Uh, there was a problem with the airline. There was a fitting that wasn't attached correctly, and it ended up actually coming off, making the tire lose all air pressure. The tire grabbed the mud flap. Problem number two came around about a week later. I was driving down a hill and decided to go ahead and throw on my engine brakes, like you do. And instead of turning on, like they had uh, several times before already that day, I heard a loud pop, and then it sounded like I had no muffler on the vehicle. I pull over and find out a gasket that connects the exhaust and the engine brake has popped off because it wasn't secured down in, uh, correctly and it just kind of went boop. Number three, it's starting to get cold so I turned on the bunk heater for the first time for longer than an hour. Turns out whenever it worked, whenever I first got it and tested it, that was just the residual heat from the front end still being warm. Uh, turns out that the fuel pump for the bunk heater was borked straight from the factory, just not operational at all. And finally, number four, the thing that happened this week that was just adding insult to injury. The fixtures that are on the outside of the mirror, that they don't really do anything besides hide the wires that control the uh, powered mirror and the heater. Those fell off while I was driving. Not only did they fall off while I was driving, it looked like they fell off just because the clips weren't installed correctly. It also appears that there's a design flaw because even if they were installed correctly, the clips are set up in such a way to where they're just plastic and steel that are fighting against gravity, basically. That if you shake them enough, they will come loose, but they feel sturdy when you jiggle them as part of your pre-trip. It also appears that even if they were installed correctly, there's a design flaw because they're just little clips that are fighting against gravity. There's none going this way or this way or clipping like down, like hooking in or anything. Just clip up. And while they feel sturdy whenever you go around and shake them as part of your pre-trip, it looks like if you get a bad enough G-force shock, they'll just boop right off. And you know what causes G-force shocks on a truck? Bad potholes. What do we have in America? A lot of bad potholes, especially where I drive, which has left me none too thrilled. I still like the truck, but I no longer love it. And the only reason I still like it is because it came with a fridge.